how to stay alive. Got over 150 different scenarios and you find yourself in a worst case scenario. To how to escape a burning building, to if your car breaks, fail, snake bites and crocodile attack. You know, these skills could save your life. Um, I'm Bear Grylls. I am an adventurer. Uh, I'm an author and a TV host. Many people that I meet who have found themselves in nightmare survival situations, they always say to me the same thing, that I never thought it would happen to me. This book is about empowering you, the reader, with skills that one day could save your life. If you go to the forest and you're, you're hiking and, and people get lost, remember the word stop. S stands for first of all, stop. T stands for take your time, don't rush. O stands for observe, think about what's around you. Where have you come from? Where were you going? What are the features like? Where is the river? P for plan. Best plan is to retrace your steps. Uh, if you know nobody's gonna come looking for you, a good tip is to remember if you head downhill until you hit a water source, a stream, you follow the stream until you find a river and follow the river until you find civilization. Sleep off the ground, but that's where all the creepy crawlies are. Build a raised bed. Our performance dramatically tails off as we get less sleep. You're in the jungle dark to dark. You know you're getting a good 10, 11 hours sleep a night. Creepy crawlies, bugs and grubs are the best because they are uh, easy to source, they're good protein, and they're abundant. And they don't take up a lot of energy to find them. Don't go near the mushrooms unless you really know your mushrooms. Those white gills are bad, brightly colored, um, really brightly colored, or anything red is gonna be bad. There are some highly, highly venomous snakes out there that can kill you in under an hour if you get bit. 99.999% of the time, the snake is much more scared of you. If you see a snake, stand back, let it make sure it knows you're there. You know, hit the ground a bit with your foot. As long as you're not a threat to it and you're far enough away, they will move away. And not panicking and, and throwing your arms around mm -hmm. and it ends up sucking you more into it. Spreading your weight wide, crawling like a seal just slowly, you know, you, you want to be horizontal rather than vertical with them moving horizontally uh, back the way you came. Yeah, lockdown has been hard for many people and use this time, you know, together as a family in the world and we do our physical training together every day, half an hour. Uh, we've got prepared for adventures during lockdown. I think that is a really important part of moving on from Corona, of understanding we're one world. You know, we're not all these different countries. We're one world. We, you know, I'm not in China now, you're in China now, but we're united by a common set of values, of, by friendships and by, you know, endeavor and by adventure and by trying to protect our planet. 